Hey everybody, I'm going to be going over some dailies, uh, what I usually do when I log on the game. Uh, of course, I hit up all my chests on my pets, get them going, that way they have time to finish out before, you know, it's over and done with. But I usually, before I even get off the game, I mean, it takes me maybe 30 minutes, and I have it all completed anyway. But, you know, on busy days, when I don't have time, I'll, I'll go over and and have them, you know, partially done. Have them done before uh, reset. Um, right here, I'm just kind of going through Alliance, and I already did that uh, last night. I'm just going through collecting all the chests and rewards from Alliance. And then I'll work on uh, some of the beast, getting them knocked out for the lanterns. That way I can get a few more of the, the stones, because I've already gotten all the uh, hero gear. So I'm not, I don't have anything really to do on it. And right now I'm kind of banking my hero gear. I'm, I'm going to try to get up to a thousand, maybe a thousand plus on the chest for those and just start opening them up. Here I'm just going over VIP uh, experience and banking it real, real quick taking care of some of the stuff that I haven't touched in a while. Still working on Mythic Shards uh, for the next gen uh, heroes that should be coming in soon. Um, probably a few months out. I always just recruit again if I might like one off. It's like, eh. I'll just go ahead and blow it on my impatient. Don't want to wait five minutes. I'll do all my uh, intels. The bounty, oh man, um, it's just, I don't know. The Grandmaster or Ultimate bounty is just, it's too, too much. I just don't, I can't do it. I've got it up quite, quite high, but there's no way I'm going to get up uh, to level 50 on it to complete it out. It's not gonna happen. Maybe with the next gym, what, six? Or no, seven heroes? Maybe I'll get it then. Doubt it, but maybe. And this doesn't take too long. I mean, going through your daily, this doesn't take long at all. You have them knocked out pretty quick. Intel, if you haven't done it in a while, it's usually double what it normally would be if it's already gone through a cycle. So I try to hit it up before you know, it gets to that third cycle. I think it's like every seven hours, something like that, or six hours. I think it's seven. So if you don't hit it within 14 hours, you're, you're losing out on your intel and getting some of the rewards, the resources. Um, so just make sure you hit it. You got that two times and then once it hits that third, you're losing out. You're just not going to get anything. And I'm just basically trying to get the, the intel knocked out while it counts towards the beast for the lantern event. Lantern is, uh, I didn't really care for it. Uh, I still don't care for it. It's long winded. I know they adjusted it, made it a little bit less um, on the requirements of what you have to get as far as the uh, beast hunts and uh, polar hunts, but it's still just, it, it drags on. I'm, I'm ready for it to be over with. And you see how quick the intel went. I mean, it went, it went really quick. Didn't take too long, even though it was doubled up. skip that. I uh, cut that part out. I usually go to it, back up, go straight back in the game, claim it, and done with it. Yeah, 
just doing the rewards here. As you can see, um, the higher up you are with your, your pet levels, the better off you are. Uh, that one, I um, can't remember if it's like the elk or whatever, that one's about useless. Um, you get like one paper out of it or five fire crystals. Uh, even with it maxed, it's, it's, it's useless. It's one of the useless pets. Most useless Bullets. pets Don't discriminate. Uh, that they've added. Um, regret even wasting anything on it. I mean, I know I needed it maxed out for the, the other benefits for, that they give to your troops. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's one of those wasted pets. The benefit of having it maxed out, if you don't want to bring it up to full level, um, you're not really getting any benefit from having it maxed out. It just does, I've never gotten anything good out of it. Just one paper for a charm or five fire crystals, which that was odd. Usually it just gives you one uh, charm design paper and that's it. Um, they need to redo that one make it a little bit more beneficial i mean give a few more rewards i don't know have a chance of giving maybe a mythic shard at some point maybe it does never gotten anything so we'll see maybe maybe they'll watch Boys, this and go okay yeah it's, it's it is it's kind of useless so many skins. That's my favorite. I'll, I'll probably stick with the Frost Spear for quite a while. Uh, all the bonuses uh, from all my skins that I have. Um, the marching skins. Uh, I always get the train. Uh, I don't use it enough. Uh, usually around Foundry. I may use it to bump march speed up a little bit more. Or Castle, which you, know, you, you really don't need it for Castle because it's all close anyway. So here I'm gonna get my little chest there and start working on the camps, getting those done. Um, usually I wait until they hit about 400. I got up to 800 here. Um, of course, they're out on a mark, so I can't uh, upgrade them. So I'll wait until it hits here and then I'm like, okay, I'm not waiting two minutes for it to get back to the city. So I speed it up a little bit here just to get done and over with. Probably should have just hit the uh, March Accelerator too, but I figured this this would suffice. I got plenty of gems. Um, I do bank my gems for uh, Frostfire. I, I would recommend doing that. If you don't have the March speed ups, you can blow a few gems and ace out somebody on one of the Intel, uh, or not the Intel, but the, uh, the speed ups, the research. That way you can kind of max that out. In Frostfire, you want to max that out as soon as possible as soon as you can max it all out the better i mean if you can do it within the first three to four minutes uh, which is doable uh, with speed ups you can do it uh, then do it um, now I'm, i don't really like wasting the fire crystals for the shards uh, but for this yeah i'm taking everything to eight of ten i may take it ten of ten uh, to me it's kind of a waste I know the next FC levels are coming in. I'd rather have the fire crystals for that. And I'd say by the time those come in, I should have maybe 30, 40,000 fire crystals banked. And that's just from buying packs or getting them through dailies or uh, other events that give them. And I may buy a few packs. Um, if if they actually give a decent amount of fire crystals when I have like cheap gear and I'm not really working on hero or there's no hero gear packs available I work on fire crystals because I know they're going to have the next levels coming uh, maybe two months three months but I'm going to have my fire crystals up to 30 40,000 it took I think 34 36,000 just for FCA full on everything researched every building, all the troops, everything. 34, 36,000 fire crystals. Plus speed ups and the resources, which is my next thing that I'm gonna start banking again. I had 
five, six billion in resources uh, from healing, doing the speed up healing and the upgrades. I, I kind of went through it pretty quick. Um, hopefully it'll be later down the road. I'm kind of wanting a little bit of a cool down, a little bit of a break from uh, all the upgrades, which is nice whenever you get it knocked out soon. You can kind of sit back and, and bank everything that you're getting and, and prep for the next phase. I think the updates on the fire crystals, hopefully 10, is like the last one for another six months or so, even a year. Uh, a little quick on it, I think. Going from FC5 to FC8, I mean, it seemed like it was just, you know, a month or, or two and... Bam, there's FC8, you know. Went from FC5 to FC8. Man, you know, it's just, I just got everything upgraded. Now I gotta upgrade again to FC8, or you got those guys that are sitting at, you know, the first few levels in FC2, FC3s, and y'all are sitting back going, all right, now we got FC8s. <laughs> this is gonna take me forever. You know, you're in the, the long game you know, a year plus out just to reach FC5 and maybe even another year for FC8 if you're just doing free play, which there's nothing wrong with free play. But I know with this game, it you know, if you want a little bit of a boost here and there, there are some decent packs that I would recommend buying, even if you don't want to put anything in. Consider it, because it, it can give you a nice little boost um, as far as resources, speed ups, and it might bump you up, but if you're close to leveling from like say FC4 to FC5, and you know that pack's gonna get you there, you know, it might be worth it. You know, what's uh, what's a, uh, what's a meal at McDonald's gonna cost you nowadays? $14 for a meal, just for yourself. Another family member, 20 bucks at McDonald's. You know, maybe forego McDonald's for the day and you know, spend you 20 bucks, $25, and get you, you know, that pack that you're looking at. Just a suggestion. I mean, it's not for everybody. There's people that are die hard. I'm not going to spend a dime in this game. And that's fine. But just, you know, expect the long game. It's it's going to take you some time. I mean, resource to your dailies. Um, hit your camps up every day for resources. Uh, you see the benefits from the pets, too. I mean, 5% enemy health for two hours. You got 5% for two hours on that one. Uh, plus march speed, lethality, march speed. 30% uh, boost on march speed is good. I mean, I'm at 70. That puts me up to 90. 90% 90 boost from march speed. So the pets are definitely, I know a lot of people are grumbling about them, like, oh, another thing that we got to work on. Yeah, yeah, but the benefits, I mean, they're, they're there. The 30%, the 5%, the attack. Uh, I got the cave line up to 10% now on attack. Um, it stacks. Every bit of these bonuses stack uh, from the skins to the pets to, you know, president titles. I mean, everything, every little bit helps. Uh, give you an edge uh, Especially on the skins like I said those are Those I really work towards on every event on getting the skins again, I got impatient here and just went ahead and and knocked that out um, Usually do anyway Time to get the polar terrors up so I can get that done and get the lantern event knocked out. Again, uh, not a big fan of that. Here's the VIP. Now I had 14 million is what I had on VIP points. And yeah, I was doing the big spins and I just barely got the frost beer. I uh, just barely made it. I let it go a little bit just so you can get, kind of get an idea um, and then I start skipping here because you know 
Nobody wants to watch a wheel spinning around for, you know, 20 turns, 10 turns, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so I, I start skipping here. Yeah, I wish it went to like 10,000. I would have just popped it right in for 10. But I'll just click it a few times for 2,000. Um, got quite a bit of points bank right there for anything new that they may add or, you know, the, the hero gear chest. Yeah, I like the quick hunt. I, I'm, I put it at 30-30 on the beast, so it looks for level 30s. And I just, I just rapid fire them and get them, get them knocked out real quick. And now it's just kind of a waiting game with the polar terrors. Just waiting for marches to get back so I can finally finish out the uh, land quest. This Mia, I mean, I put it for stones. Um, could put it for fire crystals, but I'm not, I'm not going to put a bunch of money in Mia this, this go around. Uh, last time I did, and. You know, I, I kind of got burned on it. Um, Mia wasn't really, everybody was complaining that something's been tweaked, or they thought it had been tweaked. Uh, they weren't really getting the, the gains that they got out of Mia last time. So I don't know if uh, if you devs uh, tweaked that or not, but yeah, um, we all kind of noticed something was uh, different with it. Uh, Alliance mobilization, I haven't really been working on it. Sorry, uh, USA. My alliance. <laughs> I, uh, I was to begin with, and I kind of, with work and everything, I've been a little busy. I got, man, my guys are knocking it out of the park on alliance mobilization this time. I mean, they were up uh, like 80,000 points. Uh, we're ranked number one right now. But much love and props to my, my alliance guys. I mean, y'all are knocking it out of the park. Really appreciate it. I finally noticed right here that, uh, you know, I hadn't banked anything to the bear, and then I figured, well, you know, we haven't maxed it out yet, so let me remind everybody to, to feed the bear there. If you're wondering why I spaced it out so far, that's, that's how you get it to pull under what you have already in there, the first thing you want. And then you can have it listed underneath it. So just a little tip there for y'all. And always just, we always put feed the bear. You know, get it boosted up so it's max level for the next bear event. Lance Championship. Uh, we won one, lost one, won one. Uh, Rankin's up there. We're in ultimate. So we're getting the skins just about every every Alliance Championship event. Um, didn't even get to play on this one. I think Caveman or Pill. I think Pill knocked it out in the last one. Nope, Caveman did. Yep. And all my guys, man, they're they're up there they haven't reached my level yet but they're getting there and it, it makes things a little bit easier on me um hill can run rallies uh i got maz is getting up there too though um maybe cam or john could run over third rally if we needed it um we just need a few more people to really work on t11s T11s are crucial, uh, more so than FC6, 7, and 8. Getting everybody to max out infantry, lancer, and marks on T11s is, is key for rally fills. T11s are paramount. I mean, they that's, that's what we need right now the most out of anything. Yep, got all my beasts uh, going, so... I can finish out that last little part of my day at least, uh, getting the lantern event kind of maxed out. It takes some time. And that's why I said, uh, 
kind of tired of winter event. Fluid Personally, in my opinion. Bullets. Don't Everybody else switch. might Bullets. like it. Uh, I'm kind of over it. You know, a week of it would have been fine. Uh, but I think it, it's like a month long. Foundry battle. I don't know who, I don't know if that was the Legion 2 we paired up against or Legion 1. I think it's a Legion 2, but I don't know, 30,000 is pretty good. It's nothing to sneeze at. I don't know how these people got 100%. Um, <laughs> uh, I have no clue. I mean, I go all out in Foundry. I mean, we had a few that were like, you know, really bad. Um, which, when, you know, if I do Foundry or if I do SVS or Castle, I mean, win or lose, I'm on post video. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a god as far as my account's concerned. Um, even though everything's maxed out, I still have to have people that have T11 troops to fill my rallies to make it beneficial. I mean, I'm not going to win the castle or other events unless I have that support and backup. Uh, same with Foundry. You know, we're not going to win if I'm the lead guy. I can't be all over the map. I try, but I can't be all over the map. I have Maz and John and other ones, uh, Pill, that go around busting the other facilities and collecting the points and they call back. out in foundry Watch chat you know no. hey they give the location <laughs> they call it out they and hit it the everybody teleports in flex i mean that's key i'm just kind of no. blowing some of my uh, enhancements trying to get some of this gear you know maxed out on all my sub characters i think every bit of purple gear is uh almost 80 on every one of them just about on now so that's just what I've been doing is like a little side project, just maxing Bullets. out all the lobies. Um, so whenever they do um, these times and stuff like that, their stats a little bit boosted. Not that it matters, but it's just, you know, maybe a little bit of OCD on my part, but that's what I've been doing. So finally got the lantern event maxed out to where I can kind of go with it now. Yay. And then, you know, I've got the gear. I think the gear's maxed out now on the event. So I'm just gonna collect the stones and then work on the speed ups and go from there. Now, I'm sure every one of y'all can spare a few gems for what that right there, the gathering, gathering speed. Just do the eight hour, do the 24 hour. It doesn't matter, but use it. It helps, it boosts it, it gets you more resources, especially if you are going to set a timer so you know when your resources are gathered and collected so you can go back in game and set some more. I, I mean, I know people that do that. That way they are always collecting and gathering resources. Um, it's a big part of the game. You need the resources for your upgrades. So, you know... Maybe it's a little anal um, doing that, but that will give you an edge. It will get you that next upgrade when you're sitting there waiting on food or lumber or, you know, coal or iron. Um, being, you know, religiously going through and doing that does help. And it does net you those gains. That's a lot of resources, especially at... Uh, the level eight facilities uh, or the camps, you know, that's 14, what, 14 million meat times two. So, you know, 28 million meat per gathering. You do that, what, what's it, six hours, six, 12, 18. You can almost get four in a day. Let's just say three. That's, that's quite a lot. And y'all have been great in like world chat, not like over the top with everything, but yeah, I mean, in the, the chat, the messages, 
Uh, like I said in the last video, I'm trying to check every one of them and answer y'all's questions as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate all the support. Yeah, I gotta wait on that one. Um, I use those. I know it brings down their happiness, like it's saying eight minutes before, you know, they revolt, but it, it'll be all right. Whenever they go to bed uh, or whenever they eat, their happiness goes up, so not too concerned with it. Just just do it, get your resource game. Um, it helps. Now on the research here, I, I didn't finish out growth. I didn't finish out economy. I, I finished out battle tech before both of those. I got them down to where it kind of gave me a little bit of a f benefit here with the uh, tool enhancement, um, which increased your research speed. I didn't do that one. I think I went down below it and I did the next line there, not that one, that's 610, that one. That's where I stopped at, because that one's 5.2, so I went with the 6.1, and that's where I stopped on the growth. Then I did a little bit of the economy, but mostly um, I got down maybe right in the second to third section from the bottom, and then I went battle tech. And that's all I worked on was Battletech. Because every bit of that's going to help you um, ace out somebody else on the battlefield. All that's going to give you an increase to your rally capacity, your lethality, your health, uh, your defense. That's going to give you all of that. Plus, you got your healing speed in there from, um, I believe, Grove. Uh, has it in there so I maxed all that after I did battle tech I wanted all those percentages the 111 percent and just like that dailies are done there's a skin token that's why I've been doing dailies and getting the skin token I mean 30 what every day I think we figured up it was like 600 and something uh, skin tokens a week so Trying for the mushroom, city skin, I know, but another bonus, you know, for, I would assume, uh, what was it, it should be attack, 2%, maybe it'll be a little bit more, don't know, I'll let y'all know when I get it, I think it's 2% though, uh, from what I've seen in the uh, sub screen. Yeah, I went a little overboard here. Okay, well, 4,293. Yeah, I'll upgrade a few times. I wasted the, the 3,000 gems on it, so let me boost up a little bit here and uh, get up to 880. I think I took it to 881 before I stopped, maybe. Or really close to it. Yeah, right there. Almost 881. But troop power doesn't amount to a hill of beans. It's your gear, your research, your, your tech and all that. Um, chief gear charms. That's where your real power comes in at, not your troops. Somebody could have two billion power in troops and their tech and all that's just garbage. I mean, yeah, you got two billion troops. You can, it, it would take a while to drain you. I mean, with rallies and everything else but it doesn't equate to any kind of power whatsoever. Yeah, it gets you the leaderboard. Great. I mean, if that's what you're after, you know, great. Get you on top of the leaderboard. Uh, but you wasted a lot of resources, a lot of speed ups to get there that you could have used uh, down the road whenever more upgrades come in. Right here, I sped all this up. Uh, enjoy, because it's... <laughs> I had to. It, it took longer than this, trust me. Um, 1400. And let me tell you, the gains are not there. Um, they're just not. And you'll see. I mean, I've got one to purple, the one at the top. And you'll see the other ones. You just keep an eye on where the bars are at. And you'll see at the very end uh, where they're at compared to the very beginning here. You, you just don't get it. Uh, you just don't get the gains. Yeah, 
it starts taking off here with the, me just speeding up the video because it's just it's a lot it's it's a lot to go through and it took forever i got to the point where i was just clicking recharm when it would pop up with the message i'd already be clicking on replace and that seems to go quicker doing it that way instead of waiting for the green text and going over to the right and accepting it just hit retry and when this the warning message pops up you know click click off of it to close it out and then click the other button um it's just it's quicker doing it that way especially when you're going through this many okay. see the little bars going up and down up and down and to me for 1400 it just didn't seem like I got much gain out of it. Don't let me uh, know what y'all think, but to me it just didn't seem like I got much gain for 1400 uh, stones there. Maybe that's pretty good. But to me that just, I didn't see the gains there. I mean, I'm going through like 20 to 40 before I get a green gain. And that's that. Maybe that's good. I don't know. To me, it, it don't seem like it is, but maybe it is. I go through arena here a little bit. Uh, you know, just... I get a few gains on arena, but there's quite a few people on arena that I don't hit. Um, I just, you know, I talked to them in private. Um, pretty good friends with most of them. Um, just don't do it. Make sure you set your food on your canteen, your, um, your mess hall. Max it out. It, it's not going to make a difference. Just max it out. You're getting enough resources on your other buildings to cover it just max it feed your guys feed your your citizens and i haven't had a uh, kill off in a while where my citizens were dying out and all that um it's been a, been a long time since i've had any of that happen but yeah with uh arena i just we got an agreement. I don't hit them guys. They don't hit me. And I usually place in the top three. I get the skin. I don't use it. I just want it for the bonus. It's all about getting the bonuses. But that's about all, guys. Hopefully some of what we went over uh, helped out a lot of y'all. Um, I'll be doing Foundry tonight and I'll have another video up.